and welcome. This lecture is the Midterm 1 review for Offensive Computer Security 2.0. My name is Owen Redwood. And <clears throat> the midterm and exams for this course are not publicly released, so this lecture will only be useful to those who are taking it either in universities who have adopted the courseware or th for those who are taking it through hackallthethings.com for the professional Certified Vulnerability Analyst Certificate. This midterm is rather short and simple. It tests your knowledge of basic security policies and mechanisms such as confidentiality, integrity, and availability. You should at least be very familiar with these. It covers the topics discussed in lectures 1 through 9 and it covers all of the material tested in homeworks one through four. It is designed question-wise to be similar in difficulty to the homeworks uh, but on the easier side. The format of the test is that there will be 15 true or false slash short answer questions. There's going to be a short code auditing series of questions. There's going to be a short answer reverse engineering questions, some conceptual fuzzing questions, and then one other kind of uh, wild card question. What you do not need to study is format strings and format string exploitation. Uh, you do not need to study the topics covered in the reverse engineering day two lecture. That is more on the homework and it requires hands-on so it's not well suited for a pen and paper exam. Make sure you go over the disclosure debate, the rings permission model, definitions of various terms, code auditing exercises. It wouldn't hurt to go through Viva 64's um, uh, quizzes a few times. That's hosted by PVS Studio, or at least the developers of it. Uh, make sure you're very familiar with bug types and understand how they're exploited or be able to explain how to how they can be used to enable an exploit. For instance, information leaks um, and so on. Uh, reverse engineering basics, at least the topics covered in day one. And finally, at least you should be able to discuss uh, rhetorically the basic concepts in each lecture to be well prepared. Again, the questions will be designed to be similar to the homeworks, uh, more so homework 2 than homework 1, and it will be things that you can do in the class. So, uh, I tell my students, take this moment to take a breather, go study, there's no lecture today or for this time, um, and Try not to sweat it too much. If you've done the homeworks and put in the effort there, it shouldn't be shouldn't be any surprises. The next lecture on fuzzing, lecture 11, will be continued the next time. That is it for now.